Sometimes I think that night marked me. Everything that came afterwards. Couldn't be a coincidence, could it? Do you know what? It's a really frustrating situation I seem to find myself in all the time. You know, with Marvel, when you're making those films, it's all about the villain, the costume, the locations, the end result. And they're relatively easy to keep those things a secret. I know that sounds stupid coming from me because I spoil everything. But with The Crowded Room, there are so many twists and turns in this show that people won't be expecting. It really is a puzzle, and we are giving the audiences all the pieces they need to put it together. We just might be giving it to them in a little bit of a funny order. So it's really difficult to talk about this show without giving it away. Danny, you don't really seem like a dangerous person. Can you tell me how you ended up here? Loser. Yeah, it's, you know, you're really rolling the dice. We did over a hundred pages of dialogue at that one table in that one room, and I'm delighted to say that I really couldn't have asked for a better scene partner. You know, Amanda is so talented, she's so professional. She's able to keep it light when it's dark, and, you know, there were certain times in that room where we were both just losing our minds, just scenes after scenes after scenes after scenes, and, we just kind of were a great team. I think those sections of the show, we were really worried would seem somewhat like a speed bump to the kind of flashbacks of the show. But I think they're just as compelling as Danny's kind of storytelling. So for me, I'm really proud of what we achieved in that room and I'm delighted I got to do it with Amanda.